Okay. Hmm. So there's the freeze panel from before. Ooh. And he's quitting. Okay. Why? Durandal does not seem thrilled, and his eyes are dodgy now. What's happened? Notice the eyes. He has the blue pupil, which normally the abnormal pupil is a sign of the um, changes within either being unchiralated usually because it's some Ah, uh, look at seals as well. A seal sealer, however you want to pronounce it. Wah! Pausing, 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 pausing. Also that was an interesting lance. I'm sure I've seen that before. Hersher Sentience had that, didn't she? Oh, I paused at a really awkward spot. Okay. Um, and Water's Edge, alright. Yeah. Yeah, I have seen that spear before. How the fuck are you here? Oh, man, come on. No, fuck it. Pausing now. Oh, 1 minute 22. Yes. Yes. Absolutely yes. Like, here's the thing. Durandal versus Kevin. Even though she managed to last that fight, there's no way realistically she should have been able to win that fight at all. She's lucky it ended on a draw. Because we know he's a lot stronger than we've seen. Meanwhile, me seeing her out of Elysian Realm... And seeing her versus Durandal, it's one ironic considering Durandal was the one who told me she didn't have the power to, you know, help Kiana at all. Now she does. And I kind of want to see Mei overcome this and just win in a really kind of brutal fashion. Like, I don't want anything bad to happen to Durandal, but I do want Mei to win in a blaze of absolute thunderous glory. But, God, yes, sign me up for this fight. I am all for it. This is the fight to look forward to. Oh, that gears. And there's the big old spear. Why aren't you using Abyss Flower? Whatever, all right. Oh, God. Uh, yay! <laughs> Time to fulfill our pact. Is he talking about the bloody... Uh... Oh, God. The key's name is escaping me. Uh, Void Archive. Void, ca Void Archive. Yeah. It's been so long since we've heard of it. <laughs> That's an Ava reference. <laughs> That's a big old Ava reference. So he's legitimately going to give up his body to Void Archives and find potentially Kalan, a Kaleen, however it's pronounced. So you know what? We, we accept any pronunciation here. Interesting, because here's the thing. In second, in second eruption in the manga that a lot of people potentially have not read, um, we see him talk to potentially Honkai's Gestalt or memories left behind by it. And it takes the form of him stabbing himself, so implying suicide when he asks about potentially seeing Callan again. So, it wasn't lying. <laughs> Kill yourself and you'll see her. <laughs> oh, God. The thing is, the weird dodgy eyes, it's... There's a lot of implications within the manga that, um, well, the manhua or manga either, um, that Void Archives is going to take over Oto's body and does in other worlds, well, universes. So it happening here isn't all that much of a surprise. It's just we also see what looks like Oto clones fighting the others, so attacking on anti-entropy. 
it's so good to see Bronya for Huake. Because her show domination fight really freaked me out. Like, the reactions on the channel, I was really upset by how dirty they were done. And no offence, Bronya, but I was way more worried about Fu Hua because she suffered way more than you. And I think that's a fair statement. But damn, alright. Oh. God. I'm a bit flabbergasted at that. The idea of Durandal and um, Mei fighting is such a good one in my mind and it's got me quite hyped. The thing that makes me sad is I haven't played the most recent The EX chapter, so if it reveals more towards this then I have no way of knowing. All I know is that chapter is about Durandal. So her motivations behind fighting Mei, who knows? Go for it, I guess. I don't know why you want to fight her, but I'm all for seeing that fight. If you instigate it, then I think Mei has the right to knock you down. But the thing is, Mei fighting her means that World Serpent is averse to Shiksal's intentions, which Kevin and Oto had an agreement until now. So that means Kevin probably does not approve of the way Shiksal is moving and is involving Mei because she seems to be following orders quite a bit here. So it's likely towards World Serpent's end that that fight is going to happen, which makes me wonder what made negotiations break down. And then we've just got me hoping and praying that um, we see a lot of Teresa because we briefly saw in this chapter is very importantly about Oto and she's his granddaughter and Callan's clone a clone of her genetics not the same person but a clone and we know that she cared about him despite Oto really doesn't kind of deserve it at this point but it's gotta hurt her at least a little bit which is interesting because it makes me wonder how it's going to progress because I thought um for a while now that Teresa should be the one to call Oto out on the stuff he's doing but we've just not gotten that opportunity yet and Teresa's le lost first hand at Oto trying to push for results to get to a conclusion that brings him Callum back because the whole second Hersher incident was technically caused by Shiksal it doesn't make Siren innocent but she was Shiksal's lab rat that ended up becoming a Hersher and then there were multiple times that Siren could have been stopped. Oto directly intervened with Siegfried and quote-unquote Welt with Joachim when they were going to sort her out, which was uh, wonderful, wasn't it? Thanks. Uh, what did she proceed to do? Throw rocks at the earth and kill a lot of people? Like, I'm not upset about how that turned out, but... We have to give Shiksal and Ota their due credit for how bad things got. Like, Cecilia's dead purely because he was enabling the situation. <laughs> and then we've got, of course, we get to actually see quote-unquote Siren. I, I really want to see her with purple hair and golden eyes and, like, full-on talking about her past and even, like, maybe confronting people about it. Because... Fu Hua lost essentially her daughter because of Siren. She murdered Li Jue in very cold blood. Like, Li Jue died a hero and died defending Fu Hua and giving Oto the time to escape with Hua. But it's still an ouch. Also, Sue, you died such a hero in a way. And... This is how the things you got you left behind are being used. Oto, the biggest simp in the series as far as everyone's concerned. Yeah, it's a, sort of a meme, but it's also kind of true too. He's using your divine key and used your research to make everything harder for everyone else. I'm so sorry, Sue. All that research had to have done is gone to anyone else and we would have been fine. And I'm wondering how Durandal is going to make right on this because there's no way in hell Oto's aims are going to be for the good of everyone else. They're not going to benefit them. If anything, it's likely going to actively fuck with them. 
well, screw with them. <clears throat> it's likely that his aims are going to screw with everyone else, but hey, we'll see, won't we? Oh, uh, God. I'm looking forward to the Elysium Realm update. I'm so sad that they didn't update that yesterday along with the um, main story. And I hate that they put on a delay like they did last time. Why can't we just get it at the same time? If the content's already done, why can't we get it? I'm really interested in all Elysian Realm content. Please, give me it. I want to know about these characters. And I actually find that... I found that news more exciting than the main story. Um, not the new arc information, but the information on the extra chapter because I really don't like the prospect of the sugars very much in writing and it does concern me. Uh, so being cooked on it when I'm actually now really, really invested kind of hurts. I want to learn more about Moth. I want to, if anything, eventually see Dr. May and see May's reaction to that because imagine, <laughs> imagine, because Dr. May died from Honkai corruption after using the hollow armor, which was utilizing the core conquest, which is obviously the Hersher Funder's core. And to me, it seems very probable that the moment she triggered that core is when she got the infection. And now here we have new world version of May, who is the Hersher Funder. What are the bloody odds? And she's not the only instance of characters being reappearing from the old world who have connections to things that happened in the old world like we have Himiko Murata rest in peace Himiko I'm saluting in real life for you again and then we have hints towards other characters appearing that link back in ways to like Carol um, she appears in the post Honkai apocalypse though rather than the main series, ga main series game so an another universe likely and pff, anything else i can think of off the top of my head it's like the thing that's weird is i wanted to reference back to sue's um manga for second key but it's really hard to do that and know exactly what information holds up because the visions we see of quote-unquote well of durandal going through the memories and meeting Oh, quote unquote Oto. Those are imposed versions of Sue's memories. What, she, what he did there is he made her live his life to see the choices she would make in his position at the time and judge her as a human being before handing over the key as well as what seemed to be the last of his power before he let himself die. So... A lot of that information, we can take the events as canon, but none of the characters involved are, which is a bit messy because within Elysian Realm now, we know the name of the, um, the figure who led Sue after his initial um, mentor's demise. We know the name of the original mentor as well. And we should hopefully be learning a bit more about Sue within chapter two of Elysian Realm, which I'm looking forward to. And also about Mobius, who is likely going to be quite significant. I'm wondering if she's going to seep into the main story because she is dangerous as f hell. Damn. Can we trust her? I don't think so. I'm also really intrigued by the prospect of Elysia being the 13th Hersher because it seems very, very likely since Kevin meant when um, you get a certain conversation between Kevin and May, they kind of discuss it and he mentions that Hershers don't really seem to have a place within the world because in the end, they're still Honkai and he said the same goes for you and her, meaning May and someone else, meaning that the 13th Hersher had to be a female or, you know, one of the remaining ones of whichever one he was discussing. And it make a lot of sense if the reason we don't have information on the 13th Hersher is they were a member of Moth. Because imagine having to explain that 
the pillars that are meant to protect and guide humanity beyond this, one of them crumbled as a Hersha. Like, Fu Hua did eventually, and soon knew it was going to happen, which is nuts, but she didn't at the time when it was really important. Meanwhile, it's kind of likely that Elysia might have, because we know that Eden dies. She, if anything, borderline commits suicide by walking out into the wastelands instead of continuing on to the new world. Fushi and Nua, we know they survive into the new world. We know that Fu Hua survives into the new world. Like, I'm only covering female characters. Uh, Mobius, we don't know. Though I am intrigued to see how she has the body of a child because most other cases... The Honkai genes didn't seem to screw characters up that much. And for me, like, scale, eh, snakes shed. Snakes shed layers of skin. So I'm wondering if what's happened there is to do with, um, imagine if her body took enough damage or something and she shed off layers. Because her signet is for infinity implying the idea that she should not be able to die or that she should be able to continue on so imagine if every time that she took intense amounts of damage she just shed her skin off and kept going because if she could just be a mortal kind of like Fu Hua is then to me how would she have ended up a child because we got the uh, little clip in the trailer showing her as an adult too, which is really interesting because if that is while she had already accepted the genes, then something has happened to her body. So we've got a lot of interesting stuff like right on the horizon and I'm really anticipating it. And the more I anticipate it, the better. The writing here is still very solid and I am looking forward to this new arc.